Let's read this. A game requires rolling a six-sided colored cube multiple times. This cube has six different colored sides, ranging from red all the way to yellow. And then we're rolling the cube twice. Look how many outcomes there would be. Imagine. So we know that the first roll would have all these different colors, ranging from red all the way to yellow, okay? We know that the second roll, same thing, you could get the same outcomes, okay? So as such, let's imagine that the first roll is only red. That would look like this. There it is, right? That would be red something, red something, red something, red something. Then second roll, only white. White something, white something. Third roll, only blue. See where I'm going? So let's get the first rolls all squared away. There, all the first rolls are now taken care of in these columns, right? We could do the same dance. Now the second roll is red, shall we? Second roll red, so be whatever red, whatever red, whatever red, and so forth and so forth. Same thing with second roll white. All the second rolls being white. Put that in now, okay? And then you could start to see the emergent pattern on the second roll. The second roll could be all these different colors, starting with red, starting with white, all these different colors. I'll show you. Starting with red, all the different colors. There they are, starting with white, all the different colors. Right, and then there you have the, all the different colors on the second roll coming down. So we could just look at them all together. And there are all the outcomes. How special is that, right? Really organized, that's why arrays are so helpful. And something really cool, if you noticed the same colors, do you see where they are? Red, red, white, white, and so forth. They're on the diagonal. You're totally invited to look for really fun patterns in this regard, but where they show up. And if you see patterns, you might be doing something right. Okay, give it a try now, friends.